Hey, what's up, guys? Motormaster19 here. Now, I'm going to make another video just bitching today about these fucking tryhards and these goddamn toxic communities in different games. Now, the thing that really made me fucking bring this up today was I, I was playing UFC and I got fucking... You get destroyed by every single goddamn person now. It seems like it's there, there's nothing casual about it. And I was playing ranked, but even if you go down into, like, fucking, uh... What do you call it? The normal matches, like the quick play? They still just fucking slip your punches. They still knock you out. They're still perfect. They know everything that you're going to throw. It's ridiculous. And then they just plant their feet and win every fucking exchange. It's ridiculous. And then after you get your ass beat fucking how many goddamn times, and they'll fucking they'll, they'll spam thanks at you at the end of the fucking match. It's so goddamn annoying. And then just like somebody called me, I forgot what they called me, a sissy, because they, so they don't get in trouble. That's probably why they call me a fucking sissy. But anyway, they call you that shit, and then they fucking, after they beat your ass, and they tell you, and, and, and you say something to them like, yeah, I knew I was going to lose the fight or whatever. And they just go, you know what? Hey, you're a sissy. Yeah, it was a good fight, they say. It, it wasn't a good fight, man. I was getting my ass beat the entire fucking time. And it's just like, of, of course you of course you think it's a good fight. All the fucking time. It's just anything to be an asshole. Yeah, I thought it was a good fight. Yeah, as I'm getting my ass beat. It, it, it wouldn't have been a good fight if it was the other way around. That that community on UFC is so fucking toxic. And so is the one on fucking on Chainsaw Massacre. Because they know they can just loop you the whole fucking game. So then they just act like assholes and teabag you. And they fucking, they get to just leave the exit every fucking match. They get, oh, we all escape, all four escape. I see who the hell is going to plug their mic in to play that goddamn game. It's just so ridiculous. Just and any little thing. Like, these games are not made the right way anymore. Now, now Chainsaw, you need a mic to play. But even if you do, who's going to listen to you? Because I was even talking to my friend. He fucking plays that Hell Divers game. And it's just like, he, he was even saying, with fucking people with the mics and everything, they don't listen to you anyway. You say something to them, try and work together, they don't listen, even if they have a mic too. Like the, he said that some guy was on there with his girlfriend saying about like where to eat or whatever the fuck. It's like, what the fuck? So why even, stop making games where you need a fucking mic to talk to people and shit. Like, it's it's so dumb. It ain't gonna work in public matches. Like, you, you need a friend group to play that shit. Because, like, who the hell is gonna want to play a goddamn game with, like, with random people all the time? Like, no, I'm, I'm very antisocial. That's probably why I can't fucking do that. Because it's just like, I don't, I, I can't get into that. They're not your real friends. They're, it's over the internet. It's it's ridiculous. That's why it's like, I'd, I'd rather just play with my friends or if anything, like how it is nowadays. I don't even fucking, we don't even play really. We just sit in a party because we all don't play the same games anymore. Because it's just like a lot of my friends want to play that Warzone bullshit. And then other friends want to play, yeah, like, like my other friend, he wants to play that fucking Hell Divers. Like, I'm not getting that game. I, I'm not into that type of shit. Like, I, I know that that game, you don't have to fucking, you don't have to like verse people or anything, but still, it's just like, it gets so fucking boring, all the shooting games. I, I mean, you can call zombies a shooting game, but I'm, I'm into that. I could sit there and play that. That's just... I've been playing that since I was younger, but these other games are just like, I, I can't. A lot of times it's because of the toxic communities, even with Call of Duty. Even if you go to play online, that, that community... It's not as bad as Dead by Daylight or UFC, but they're annoying too. They, at least they won't message you. I never really got any messages on Call of Duty. It's probably because I'm not all that great, but... Yeah, and Dead fucking... Uh, what do you call it? That's another game that has a shitty-ass fucking community, Dead by Daylight. Another one, they're just teabagging. It's, it's all these asymmetrical horror games. Now, like, Friday the 13th, I really didn't have to put up with that too much because I was pretty good at that game, kind of. I don't, I don't want to say pretty good, like, to sound cocky, but, like, I was all right. I could at least kill people as Jason and survive as the counselor, but, like, they... I don't know. That one's not as bad as the other fucking asymmetrical horror, like, like Chainsaw or, like, fucking, uh... What's it called? Dead by Daylight. Those two are just fucking ridiculous. And then and Evil Dead. You can't even talk about Evil Dead. I mean, I... I don't think the community really sucked on there, because I, re I didn't really get messages on there, but they would always pick that Henry the Red motherfucker and just use his goddamn shields the whole fucking time, and just, just oh, let's keep doing it over and over again, let's just keep using the fucking shield non-stop, it's so fucking annoying, like, let's keep upgrading the shield, I think they're called shields, yeah, he would just keep doing it, it would just recharge every two fucking seconds, oh, let's use the shield, let's use the shield, it's like, dude, it's fucking bullshit, you shouldn't be able to just use a shield the whole fucking time. Say so unbalanced, and then the, and then the community gets cocky, and that's what I mean about the toxic communities. There's stuff that's broken in the fucking games, and the goddamn communities are just they're so fucking happy about it. They're so happy about it being broken, so they'll just go play that side that has that. It's like I I, I can't I fucking hate that shit. All right, guys. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. It's been my Master Nineteen. I'll catch you later.